It's the week of Wednesday, February the 15th, and this is a quick video from Duck Talks. Not our standard podcast episode, something different from us this week um, because of current events, because of the news that's out there, things that are going on in the community. We wanted to uh, just pop into our YouTube channel and reach out uh, and, and talk about this briefly. Uh, disclaimer. We're not going to choose a side on it. So if you're looking for a conversation where we're going to debate um, the topic at hand, we're not going to do that on this episode. Uh, let us know if that's something you'd like to see us try to put together a panel or something in the future to talk about it. But we want to cover the facts. We want to talk about what has happened today. We want to talk about what's coming up. And we just want to talk about those of you who are interested in, in getting the life and times of Scrooge McDuck, how you can do that how you can, can you can own a piece of it. So that's that's what we're here for tonight. Um, my name's Mitch, and I have Pirate Steven with me. Ahoy there. Yeah, busy news day. Oh, it's been crazy all day. I was telling my wife, I was like, my phone has gone off all day, ever since this morning. Yeah, so we, just to get, get down into it, um, we're, we're both uh, members of the official... Don Rosa group on Facebook. Awesome group. If you like uh, the duck comics at all, you need to join it. Um, I know there are a thousand strong now, especially from the, the bump of uh, a fo new followers from this, the, the news um, and are celebrating their fifth anniversary uh, this, this month, I believe. So shout out to them. Um, I get alerted to news um, whenever anybody posts on, in that group and uh, I saw that Don um, recently announced that he was going to be unable to attend a um, a fanboy uh, con that was going to be in Vancouver, which is rare for him because um, the man is he's a he's a horse. He doesn't get sick. He doesn't he doesn't miss things. So mm -hmm. um, uh, just he had something that uh, that came up um, from from working hard like he does, and and he wasn't able to. Uh, to be able to physically attend this weekend. So um, he put that message out there and, and just a few minutes later, he put in another message because he had gotten a email from one of his publishers. We don't know which publisher doesn't even matter. Um, but he, he, Don Rosa is a sharing guy. So he shared the news with the, with the faithful on the group. And uh, I'll go ahead and just read that real quickly that, um, what, what came from the publisher. And it says, as part, as part of its ongoing commitment to diversity and inclusion, the Walt Disney Company is in the process of reviewing their library of stories. As a result of this, some stories that do not align with their values will no longer be published. This applies to two of your classic stories, The Richest Duck in the World and The Dream of a Lifetime. These stories will not be a part of any reprints or new collections, um, which immediately throws you into panic mode because um, the richest duck in the world is uh, is the twelfth chapter of the life and times of Scrooge McDuck, which is is by far my favorite um, graphic novel, comic, anything in this world. Mm -hmm. and I know we were introduced to it a little later in our lives than than probably we should have been as duck fans. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, we we're both upset. regret that <laughs> we're both obsessed with it. I mean, um, and, and, and when we, when we were, when it was brought to our attention that we needed, um, the life and times of Scrooge McDuck in our life, we couldn't get it because it was out of print everywhere. And, um, and this was before Fanographics had, um, had republished, um, a lot of the stuff. So, um, it was yeah. several hundred dollars just to get the original 12 together. Yeah. I had to go to the library to get it when I first. Yeah, it read. actually, when I did, and it, I, this was after Fantagraphics release, but when I collected the 12 floppies, that was cheaper than buying the trade paperbacks that were around when we first found out about, when we were first introduced to the stories. 
Yeah, and Mitch is completely right. After, after we got became obsessed with it, we're like, oh man, we got to own this as many times as we can. So, uh, got a few actually, copies now. We got all of the um, the floppies uh, of of the 12 stories and yeah, I, think, I don't have the 12 add ons. Um, they're just harder to get. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and now probably even harder. Um, but yeah, and I have, I have my 12 floppy sign. Did you get your sign from Don? Many of them, not all of them. Um, I, you were the guinea pig on, on getting him to sign everything you had. Um, that day that I was there, I think, I think he signed, my Fanographics Volume 1 of The Complete Life and Times, and he signed, I think, three covers. Um, but not all Life and Times. Actually, the um, the first issue, his, um, um, his his first story, I have that one signed. So uh, that's one of my three. Okay, yeah. But I was planning and, on taking everything else with me to uh, Dragon Con man, when I didn't get to go because I had COVID. When he was at MegaCon Orlando, I swear I made like four trips to the car. I had everything. Uh, I had him sign the um, his Don Rosa statue, the most recent release, and I had to get it signed and then bring it back to the car so nothing would happen to it. And Anyway, we, we love Don well, Rosa. What was we, really funny yeah. about that was all the different disguises you wore. I oh, wish yeah. you would have shared that on social media. I had a good laugh at it. Having the ducktail shirt on, taking it off for the <laughs> sign in, putting it back on is crazy. It's great. Yeah. Um, but anyway, love Don Rosa. He is a talent. Um, and, and that I, I'm so glad that I was introduced to his stuff. And, um, mm-hmm. and uh, like we said, I own like four copies, uh, four c- kind of different uh, volumes or copies of this, the life and times, because I love it so much. Um, and we'll talk about the different places that's been published, at least in, in the United States, where you can try to, to find it um, from those awesome Fanographics editions. But um, yeah, when it, it went off in my head, richest duck in the world. So we said it was the 12th chapter. Um, it was the right after um, right after Chris, Christmas on Bear Mountain. It's when. Donald was invited to Uncle Scrooge's uh, manor and 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 kind of this is how they became a family again and and uh, amazing story. But that ends up being not the one that they were talking about in this email. They were talking yeah. about the eleventh chapter of um of the life and times of Scrooge McDuck, which still factors in where it's going to mess up the life and times of Scrooge McDuck when that is no longer printed. But um, that chapter is called the Empire Builder of Calisota. And, uh, it's really an important chapter in the book because this is how, this is when, uh, Scrooge just gives up his family and, and becomes a miser and, and just completely, this is a lot of his fortune that is in that money yeah. bin comes from everything that happens in this story. And, uh, it kind of turns Scrooge into a villain. Not kind He's of the he, villain of that. He's chapter. A villain. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and then later gets redeemed. Um, uh, either in the, if you consider it in the next one or, or future stories after that. But um, yeah, so the the Empire Builder of Calisota is on the list. Like we said, in the email, it was mentioned um, as the richest duck in the world, but we found out later that some European countries actually call it that as well, uh, the richest yeah. duck in the world story. So that is where the confusion of that came in. Yeah, and again, this came from a publisher um, so that's, you know, if they're publishing in different countries, you know, that, that could be where that confusion came from. And, you know, we don't know what that means for the publications of this story in other countries, it, not just the U S who knows. Yeah. So, uh, and in the other story, the dream of a lifetime is one, um, it's like the expanded edition of the life and times of Scrooge McDuck. So it, um, whenever you have like a volume two of, of the life and times, it would be included or like, Mm -hmm. um, the deluxe edition that we'll talk about later. Um, but it's, uh, it goes, Donald's kind of has an inception type, uh, um, story where he, he like relives a lot of, um, a lot of Scrooge's, uh, life and times stories and settings. So um, I'm not going to go into all the details about it, but it, it's one of my favorite reads um, from Don's library. 
and he, and and it came way before the movie Inception, by the way. Um, yeah, because it's that the movie Inception um, came out in 2010, and uh, Don's story that um, was first published in 2002. So there's a number of things throughout the uh, you know the history of the character that has influenced other media, and and not only like. You know, Inception, we don't know if that influences for sure or not, but there's plenty of places where Spielberg has said um, that things from uh, these stories and, and other people. But it's it's really cool that uh, when you look back and see how these these comics, these stories influence these creators that were such an influence on you know our entertainment culture um, throughout the years. So um, the story is a big deal. The life and times of Scrooge McDuck, uh, you know, like we said, when it was out of print, you couldn't get it without paying hundreds of dollars. And, um, everyone who's a duck fan has told us you have to read this. It's the best story. It's an Eisner award winning story. And, you know, it's, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those stories that is, when you, be, when you become a duck fan, you feel like you got to have, you just got to, got to own it. Uh, you know, digital copies, printed copies, floppies, all that stuff, <laughs> which is how, you know, which is um, what we ended up doing. But the uh, we don't know what this would mean. I mean, obviously, from this email, they say that the whole company is in the process of reviewing uh, stories, the library of stories to see how um, they might fit into um, what's going, you know, what's coming, what's coming in the future. And we don't know what that means for other duck stories. There's plenty of stories out there. Um, and we were talking about even, uh, you know, Mickey, there's some Mickey stories out there that have things that may end up being questionable and, and may, um, you know, they, they may be done. And we were, you know, the Carl Barks um, library isn't complete yet. It's they've not finished pub uh, publishing those. We have reached out to our friends at Fanographics. We don't know what this information means. Maybe, maybe those contracts are ahead of time. We don't, you know, are not included since they were already, you know, written up or whatever. I don't know. We, we have no idea. Um, but if you're interested in these, now's the time to go after them because the secondary market's only going to go up. Absolutely. And, and you might be asking yourself, well, why is this happening? Um, and what what is consistent between those two stories and and that is uh there's one one character in it um that his name is bomb bombie the zombie and uh he's in both of those stories and uh, even in um in dream of a lifetime i think he's only like three comic pains um, yeah but that his existence is enough to put it on whatever list this is on um and bombie is throughout that 11th chapter of uh life and times of scrooge mcduck and what we don't know like mitch was saying is what other stories are affected by this i would have to think that um the origin story where um where bombi was created by carl barks um voodoo hoodoo which came out in 1949 um is might be another story that it gets on the chopping block uh we don't yeah. know but it this is just, we're just reporting the facts as, as we heard them. And, yeah. um, and we want people and, to be aware because I know that if I'm, if I would have found this out later and missed out on owning the life and times of Scrooge McDuck or, or some of these Carl Barks volumes, um, I'd be sad about that. Yeah. The, um, the origin, his origin story, it's not origin story. It's his, well, I guess it is anyway, voodoo hoodoo. Um, was released in the Carl Barks library already with volume seven lost in the Indies. Um, but it is currently out of stock on Amazon. Um, you can find it on Fanographics website, so you can get that one. Um, but I would imagine the pu future publication of that volume would be edited to not include that story. If, if they even continue to, to produce it, we don't know. Yeah, because there was a uh, there was a story in volume twenty one of the Carl Barks Library, uh, Christmas in Duckburg, uh, which had a um, a story that included Brer Fox in it, and uh, I believe that volume came out in um, twenty nineteen, and since then it's been reprinted, and the reprint yeah. doesn't include that story, which is called the uh, the Flying Farmhand, 
I had had Dumbo in it and Brer Fox and all these random characters. So it was a crazy story. <laughs> um, it, we like we don't know when these things are going to not be um, in the world anymore. So again, yep. this is why we we're sharing the news as we hear it and um, and just spit in the facts about it um, so that people have the knowledge to decide for themselves if they want it and where to get it and. Um, hopefully have it in their collection but um yeah. as mitch was saying lost in the andes which is where voodoo hoodoo story comes from um uh, that is volume seven of the uh complete car barks disney library and um and pick that up if you can because uh carl barks disney library and De don rosa library um books go out of stock all the time it's so popular yeah. and they, they print them and they're just gone so um make the decision if that's what you want um the other stories we we're talking about of course are the life and times of scrooge mcduck and you would think that if one of the stories is no longer available to be printed that they probably won't print a collected volume of all um, 12 of them ever again. So um, there's a couple of places that are currently selling that, that volume. Um, and again, we know people from outside the United States will be watching this too. We're specifically talking about um, where you can get it into Fantagraphics US um, volumes, but um, there's a excellent um, complete life of Scrooge, uh, complete life and times of Scrooge McDuck. Uh, deluxe edition that was released just a couple years ago. Um, it is uh, currently one hundred and twenty five dollars on um, on Amazon, but I know when that when that sucker, it's huge, man. It's, it's a huge book, um, but it it was originally two hundred fifty dollars. So I imagine that once that thing is sold out, it might not be printed again. It, maybe it will. Maybe yeah. maybe all this will blow over. Um, but why take a chance? And um, if this is something you really need to have in your house. Uh, so yeah, that's one place you can get it. And it has both of those stories that were put on the no longer print list um, mm -hmm. from that one publisher. Um, the other places you can get it, they have standard editions of volume one and volume two from Vanagraphics of the uh, Complete Life in Times of Scrooge McDuck. And volume one will have that um, the, the uh, that first story, the Empire Builder of Calisota. And volume yeah, because volume one is the original 12. Yeah, volume, volume one two is the add ons. Yeah, the 12 Eisner award winning um, stories. And then. Um, the second story, which is the dream of a lifetime is in volume two of the standard edition. So um, if you want both of those and you didn't want to go deluxe, you'd have to get volume one and volume two of that. And, and the biggest difference between owning the complete life and times and the deluxe is that the complete life and times does not include the commentary. Um, the deluxe includes additional commentary like the, um, the Don Rosa library includes commentary yeah and and probably even harder to find but you can find it some places if if you want in if you're collecting the 10 volume uh don rosa library that fanographics put out there uh the empire builder of calisota would be in volume five and volume mm -hmm. 10 would have um have the second story the dream of a lifetime so um again that's if if you were wondering do I have these stories in my collection already? Those are all the places that it's been printed um, mm -hmm. from Fanographics in the U.S. in the different libraries. Well, there was also, um, if you were so inclined to get the box set of the standard edition, they do sell it in a two-volume set. But again, that's that's all the places you could buy those stories today if you wanted it. Um, I'm sure that the um the prices are gonna once they're no longer available will um skyrocket but um mm -hmm. we're trying to help people avoid that yeah yeah i mean I, I i think that's everything as far as telling people we will include links in the description of this video so that you can get to those more easily you should be to scroll down and find those um 
but yeah. Uh, did you have anything else? Yeah. If we hear anything else on the matter or if there's uh, more facts, we'll, we'll let everybody know um, on our Twitter feed, or maybe we'll put out another video on the matter when we have more information. Um, but you can follow us at duck talks and, um, and we'll get that information to you. And also, like I said, join uh, the official Don Rosa Facebook group. Yep. I, I love that he interacts with, with us on there. Um, and, and sometimes he just jumps right into a conversation to, to let people know um, the truth on things. And um, I, I love having that interaction with him. He's, I've always had a fun time um, when I got to meet him uh, in person. And uh, this work is one of my favorite comics. I, you know, we, we're not going to get into it, but I can see both sides of the matter and I'm torn on it. So the, uh, that's where you can get it if you want it. And we will, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens next until next time. Mm-hmm.